Letter sixty seven of Letters from Egypt by Lady Lucy Duff Gordon. Read for LibriVox.org into the public domain. To Mrs. Austin, Cairo, December fifth, eighteen sixty five. Dearest Mutter, Alhamdulillah, now I am at rest. I have got all the boat in order. My captain, Rais Mohammed, is very satisfactory, and today we sail as soon as Omar comes back with the meat, etc., from the market. I received Meadows' review. I wish he had not said so much about me in it. Mohammed Ghazawi begs to give his best salam to Sheikh Stanley, whom he longs to see again. He says that all the people said he was not a Christian, for he was not proud ever towards them as Christians are, but a real Sheikh, and that the Bedouin still talk of Sheikh Stanley and of his piety. The old half-witted jester of Luxor has found me out. He has wandered down here to see his eldest son, who is serving in the army. He had brought a little boy with him, but is afraid for him here, I don't know why, and has begged me to take the child up to his mother. These licensed Posenreisen are like our fools in old times, but less witty than we fancy them to have been, thanks to Shakespeare, I suppose. Every district has one who attends all mulids and other gatherings of the people, and picks up a living. He tells me that the Turkish Nazir of Zania has begun some business against our Kadi, Sheikh Ibrahim, and Sheikh Yusuf, accusing them of something, he does not know what, perhaps of being friends with Haji Sultan, or of stealing wood. If all the friends of Haji Sultan are to be prosecuted, that will include the whole Said. Of course, I am anxious about my friends. All Halim Pasha Agadi's villages have been confiscated, those tributary to him for work. Sus pretext that he ill-used the people. N.B. He alone paid them, a bad example. Pharaoh is indeed laying intolerable burdens, not on the Israelites, but on the Fellaheen. Omar said of the great dinner to-day, I think all the food will taste of blood. It is the blood of the poor, and more haram than any pork or wine or blood of beasts. Of course, such sentiments are not to be repeated, but they are general. The Menegedits, who picked and made ten mattresses and fourteen cushions for me in half a day, were laughing and saying, For the Pasha's boat we work also, at so much a day, and we should have done it in four days. And for me, if I paid by the day instead of by the piece, how long? One day instead of half, O lady, for fear thou shouldst say to us, You have finished in half a day, and half the wages is enough for you. That is the way in which all the work is done for Effendina. No wonder his steamers don't pay. I saw Ross yesterday. He tells me the Sharif of Mecca has sent him a horse. End of letter 67. Read by Sibella Denton. All LibriVox files are in the public domain. For more information, please visit LibriVox.org.